The state of New Jersey is open for business. This video podcast series is designed to help you navigate the various online business registry processes administered by the Division of Revenue and Enterprise Services. Check out the description box below to navigate the video contents using the clickable timestamps and to access the links referenced throughout this video. Be sure to click the Show More tab to view the full list of links in the description box. To view our complete series, please visit the Division of Revenue and Enterprise Services Business Gateway at nj.gov njbgs, or follow the link in the description box to view our complete playlist on YouTube. This video will cover three essential online business services for New Jersey business owners like you. Annual reports, how to file your annual reports online. Online business amendments, which will be necessary in the event of a business name, ownership, address, or other change to your business. And employer account registration change service, which will also be necessary in the event of a business name, ownership, address, or other change to your business. It sounds like the online business amendments and the employer account registration change service are the same thing. Do I have to do both? Yes. This is an important distinction. An online business amendment will change your public business filing with the state of New Jersey in the state public record system while the Employer Account Registration Change Service will change your confidential tax slash employer records and amend your original business certificate. For any changes to your business information, you will need to complete both an online business amendment and an employer account registration change. We'll talk more about these in just a few minutes, but let's begin with annual reports. Annual reports are annual filings that all businesses registered in New Jersey must file to remain in good standing with the state. There's a fee for filing an annual report. Annual reports are due on or near the anniversary of your business formation filing date. Oh no, I forgot to file my annual report for last year. What do I do? You can pay to file outstanding annual reports for previous years through the online service while filing your annual reports for the current year. If it has been two or more years since you paid your annual reports, your business filing may have been revoked, in which case you would need to reinstate your business. We'll discuss business reinstatement a little later on in this video. To file an annual report, let's begin by going online. Type the link currently shown on screen into your browser window, or follow the link in the description box below. This will bring you directly to the annual reports filing page. The first section is business identification. Enter your 10-digit New Jersey business entity identification number found on your original certificate of formation slash authorization, your business type, and your incorporation slash formation slash authorization date. Click continue when finished. The next page will let you know the annual reports due for your business. Your business information will appear in a box on the right side of your screen with the total fee for all annual reports due. The center box will detail each outstanding year and associated fee. Review this information and then click Continue. This page will ask you to confirm your registered agent and office information. If this information hasn't changed, click Continue. Actually, I have a new registered agent. If your registered agent information has changed, click the Change button and update the information. Remember, all businesses operating within the state of New Jersey must maintain a registered agent and office within New Jersey. Please be aware, any changes to this information are subject to an additional $25 statutory fee. Now you'll be asked to confirm your business address. If you need to make changes to your business address, click the Change button and make the necessary changes. Then click Continue. If you don't need to make any changes, click Continue. The next page will ask about your officers slash members. 
you can list up to 10 individuals on this page. If you need to add a member, click the Add button and enter the necessary information. If you need to edit information for an existing member, click the pencil icon under the Actions column in the row of the member you need to change. If you need to delete a member, click the Trash Bin icon under the Actions column in the row of the member you need to remove. Click Continue when you're finished. This page will ask if your business entity is required to provide workers' compensation insurance. If the answer is No, select No and click Continue. If the answer is yes, select yes and provide your insurance information. Click continue when finished. Now you'll have an opportunity to review all the information you've added for your annual report so far. Click the triangles next to each title to open the drop down information panels. If you need to edit any of your information, click the edit button within that section and make the necessary changes. At the bottom of the page, you'll be asked who is authorizing and signing this annual report? Either a business owner slash officer or member, or an authorized representative. Click to mark which is authorizing and signing your annual reports. You can also sign up for free text and or email notifications for annual reports filing reminders and Corp Watch alerts to notify you when any charter document filing is performed for your business. To sign electronically, Enter your name, title, phone number, and address. Click Continue when finished. The next page will ask if you'd like any additional certificates or reports. Your annual report certificate is included in your annual report statutory fee. If you'd like any additional certificates or reports, the fees are outlined in the table at the bottom of this page. Please be aware. There are fees for both available payment types, and those fees are different for different certificates or reports. This information is also outlined in this chart. Simply check off the certificates or reports you'd like added and click Continue to proceed to the payment page. The payment page will ask you to select your payment type from the drop-down menu and will outline your order details. If your order is correct, click Continue. Enter your contact information, followed by your payment information, and click Submit when finished. After your payment has been processed, a confirmation page will open. From this page, you'll be able to download your annual report certificate. Save this document as a PDF and print it out for your records. Your certificate will also be available for download until the date listed from the Document Retrieval Center. Make note of this access code for your records as well. Congratulations! You filed your annual report online. What if my business is in a revoked status? If your business has been revoked due to two or more years unpaid annual reports, you'll go through the same beginning steps. Go online and either type the link currently shown on screen into your browser or click the link in the description box below. After you've put in your business information, a page will open which reads Reinstate a Business. This page will inform you your business is in a revoked status and must be reinstated. The application will check to ensure your business name is still available for use. If the name is available, you will review and then pay any outstanding annual report fees. If the name is no longer available, you must select a new name for your business file a name change amendment with your reinstatement request, and pay an additional filing fee. Click Check Business Name and follow any additional instructions. In this demonstration, the business name is still available, so the next page will review Reports Due. Here you can see the outstanding fees as well as the reinstatement fee that's due. The rest of the annual reports filing is the same as described in the earlier part of this video. Now let's move on to online business now amendments. Now let's move on to online business amendments. You'll want to have, want your, to have original your original business formation, business formation certificate, certificate available, for, available reference for reference during, this, during process. this process. If you, if you don't, don't have, have your certificate, certificate of formation, formation 
You may you retrieve may a copy, a copy from, the from the Business Records Service, records service by visiting njportal.com currently shown on screen or by clicking the link in the description records. box below. To file an amendment, type the link currently shown on screen into your browser or follow the link in the description box below. This will open the Business Charter Amendment Service site. Look on the left and you'll see a box that reads Business Filings. The first line reads, File an amendment or alternate business name. And under that line is an orange button that says, Start the filing process. Click that button. The first page will ask for your business information. Enter your 10-digit New Jersey business entity identification number found on your Certificate of Formation slash Authorization, your business type, and the incorporation slash formation slash authorization date for your business. Click Continue when finished. I need to do a Certificate of Amendment. Okay, so we'll click this button in the top left box, L102 Certificate of Amendment. This opens a filing method acknowledgement page. This statement informs you there's an optional feature to upload documents as part of your amendment filing, but that uploaded information will not amend any information within your filing. The only information that will be considered with regard to this amendment filing is the information you type in online during this filing. So all the information I type in during this filing must match the information contained in any uploaded documents? Correct. Click the I Agree button to continue. The next page is the amendment information. Your current business information will be displayed in the top box. Answer the yes or no questions by selecting the button next to the appropriate answer. Click Continue when finished. The system will then take you through each change. To change your business name, click the Change Business Name button and enter the new business name. Then select your business designator from the drop-down menu. Click Continue when finished. To change your business address, you'll need the article number for the business address that is associated with the original filing. This will be shown on your original Certificate of Formation. Select the article number from the drop-down menu. Then click the Change button to change your address information. Click Continue when finished. To add, remove, or change information for an officer slash member, you will again need the article number for the members that is associated with the original filing. Click the Add New Officer button and add all required information to add a new officer slash member. Click Continue when finished. To amend your business purpose, again, select the article number from your original certificate of formation associated with your original business purpose, then type your amended business purpose in the box and click Continue when finished. The next page will ask if there are any additional article changes you would like to make. If there are, click the Add Article button and add the article and type the corresponding change. You can also upload documents from this page by clicking Add File and uploading the file from your computer. You may upload up to 10 files. The highlighted box is a reminder that any uploaded information must reflect the same information manually keyed in during this web session. Check the box to signify you have read and agree with this statement. Click Continue when finished. Please review all your information on this review page. If you need to make any changes, click the Edit button for the section you need to change and make the necessary changes. Once you've reviewed all your information, click Continue. Now we'll need to input signature information. Input the names of all signers and click the check mark next to the statement which reads, the undersigned represents that this filing meets all applicable requirements of New Jersey state law. Click Continue when finished. This page reviews your order and will ask you to select your payment type from the drop-down menu. Click Continue to proceed to payment. On the next page, fill out your contact information and then your payment information. Review your information before payment, then click Submit. 
Once your payment is processed, a confirmation page will open. You can download your certificate of amendment right from this page and save or print it for your records. You will also receive an email with information about your amendment and will be able to download your documents from the Document Retrieval Center until the listed date. Now you know how to file an online business amendment. But remember, for any changes to your business information, you will also need to file the changes through the Employer Account Registration Change service. To access this service, let's start by going online. Type the link currently shown on screen into your browser window or click the link in the description box below. This will open the Online Registration Change service. Select the button to indicate your business type, either a partnership slash sole proprietorship or a business entity, and then click Submit. This will open the login page. Enter your federal taxpayer ID number or your corporation ID number, or both, and enter your employer or sales tax PIN. Your employer or sales tax PIN is issued by the Division of Taxation. Visit the Division of Taxation's Contact Us page at the link currently shown on screen for further assistance. Now that we're logged in, the system will present a checklist of available changes you may wish to make. Check off the boxes to indicate any and all changes you would like to make. The system will take you through the changes one at a time. There are instances where your business may have been issued a temporary tax ID number. Click the first box to update your temporary tax ID number to your newly acquired Federal Employer ID Number, or FEIN. If you would like to register your business to pay taxes for other subsidiaries, check off the last box, Register as the managerial member of a combined group. Be advised, checking off either the Business Amendments box or the Business Forms box will open a new page redirecting you to the Business Charter Amendment Service site, which you'll remember from earlier in this video, is where you would file an online business amendment and find additional business change forms. Okay, I need to change an address, add a tax and or employer eligibility, and add or update my electronic funds transfer. After you've selected all the changes you wish to make, go ahead and click Submit. The first page will correspond with the first checkbox you selected on the list, which in this demonstration is the address change. Enter the new location address and or new general mailing address. Click Submit when finished. A confirmation page will ask you to review and confirm your information. Once you click Confirm, you will not be able to go back and modify this information again, so please review this page carefully before clicking Confirm. Click the Re-Enter button if you need to make any changes to any information on this page. After you've clicked Confirm, the system will open a page for the next item checked off on that initial list of changes, which in this demonstration is Add a Tax and or Employer Eligibility. Select a tax from the drop-down menu and click Submit when finished. The next page will ask for additional information corresponding with the type of tax you're adding. Input all information and click Add when finished. A confirmation page will open and once again, you will not be able to change this information once you've clicked Confirm, so please review it carefully. Click Confirm when finished. The next page in this demonstration will be the next box selected from that initial checklist of changes, which is Add or Update Electronic Funds Transfer. An I Agree statement will appear first. Read this statement carefully and then click I Agree to continue. Select a tax from the drop-down menu and click Submit. Select the account type for this tax, either credit or debit, and click Submit. Then input the corresponding required information for either credit or debit and click Submit when finished. After you've moved through all the items you selected as wishing to change from that initial page, a signature page will open. For the signature page, read the signature statement carefully. Then type in your name, title, telephone number, 
email address, and street address in Section A. Section B is the submitter's attestation and contact information. Read the statement carefully, then click Submit. If the signer and the submitter are different people, then the submitter will fill out their information in Section B and click Submit. This will open a signature confirmation page. Please review this information. You will not be able to modify this information after you click Confirm. If all your information is correct, click Confirm. Now the system will show the filing acknowledgement page with your taxpayer ID and confirmation number. All changes made will be listed on the bottom of the page. Please print this page as proof of filing. And that's it! You're all set! Now you know how to file your annual reports online, as well as how to make changes to your business filing through both online business amendments and the Employer Account Registration Change Service. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Remember to check out our additional videos either by clicking the playlist link or by visiting the Division of Revenue and Enterprise Services Business Gateway at nj.gov slash njbgs.